Hey everyone, welcome to Real Talk with Ellison and I am Ellison. Listen, I don't want you guys to be selfish. If you are on Facebook, go ahead and like. If you are on YouTube, please go ahead and subscribe, but don't be selfish. Share this out. Share Real Talk with Ellison out because on this show, we talk about information that we are in lighting the community with. We talk about things that impact the church. And we know the church is also a part of our community. And with that being said, we are about to get this show started. Hey guys, welcome to Real Talk with Ellison. And on today's show, we are discussing the next level for leadership. And I just wanted to give you guys some information before I introduce our wonderful guest that we have on today. Research suggests that young leaders are rated significantly more effective than their older colleagues. Yes, the youth are better than us old folks. That's what research says, right? So in a data of over 65,000 leaders, the research founded that managers ages 30 and under are better compared to those 45 years and older. I found that very interesting because as uh, older folks, we feel like we know more, but yet they uh, want our younger counterparts. Amen. <laughs> so listen, our youth are our future, right? And it does take a village. And um, youth leaders are important because the youth, they lead by pulling compared to the older individuals who lead by pushing. And the reason why that is important, the pulling, because in the pulling, they are assisting one another in developing their abilities to analyze their own strength right? Their, their own strength, their own weaknesses. They set personal and professional goals and, and they have to develop their own self-esteem, their confidence, their motivation and abilities to carry them out. So where the older generation pushes, 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 the younger generation pulls. It's like, come on, you, you got this. You can do this. You can motivate. So with me on today, talking with None other than a wonderful young upcoming leader is Genesis Bonarvi. Welcome, Genesis. How are you? I'm great. I'm yeah. happy to be here. I am so excited that you are here. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I am an 11th grader. I attend Nasal River High School. Um, I'm also part of an organization called Leadership Links. Um, they're a mentorship organization. I've been a part of it for five years now. Mm. and um, through Leadership Links, I've been able to do a lot of leadership opportunities. It's helped me cultivate myself as a leader and just my other strengths um, really just helped me develop into being a better me. Oh, amen. Thank you so much for sharing. And we also have Miss Matrice Williamson. Welcome, Miss Matrice. Hi. Hello. Hi. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Matrice. Yes, ma'am. My name is Matrice Williamson, and I am one of the Leadership Links ambassadors. I'm a parent ambassador. I've been a part of Leadership Links um, since its inception in different roles. Um, I am a mother of three. Um, my husband and I have been married for almost 30 years, and we're a military family, so Ooh. we are definitely connected to our military community. Uh, is how we met Miss Genesis through the military and then through Leadership Links. We're all connected in that manner. Um, our old, our youngest daughter uh, was a part of the Leadership Links program, which is how I became um, one of the ambassadors for Leadership Links. Okay, thank you so much for sharing that information. So for us that don't know, what is a parent ambassador? Yes, so a parent ambassador um, is one of the parents who has been part of the Leadership Links organization 
we are able to network ourselves as parents to um, be mentors to parents who come into our organization. So if you're a new parent and you're not really sure how the organization works or how you can support your youth links leader when they join um, the organization, our ambassadors are the ones who kind of come alongside and encourage and mentor. And then also we're out there sharing our with our network and telling other people about our network. So we speak on behalf of Leadership Links in any capacity that we're able to share. Okay, well, thank you so much for letting us know. So it's just help out there for the parents too who are new to this. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So Leadership Links, right? Leadership Links. What, what does specifically the links, because it means something. So what does the links and Leadership Links mean? So Ms. Okay, Janessa so, is real good at this, so I'm going to let her take that one. <laughs> yeah, so straight from the jump of being a part of Leadership Links, our core values, which is what the links stand for, is one of the first things you absolutely have to know. And so the links is an acronym, and it stands for love, inspiration, network, knowledge, and service. And so those core values are kind of what we try to instill in each of our young links leaders each and every day, every um, program, every get-together event. We, we try and focus on those. And so we can apply, we as the young, young links leaders, we can apply those um, in our life. I love this. She said, love, inspiration, network, knowledge, and service. Listen, we can add that to our life from day to day, but that, I love that. And I'm so busy cheesing, guys. I'm so proud of this young lady right here. So my cheeks don't hurt before the end of the show. And y'all know how I do on Real Talk. So anyway, so the links in that, you like you said love inspiration network knowledge and service but i love how you spoke about we i didn't hear too many eyes when she was speaking and to me that was so powerful because again that goes with what i was saying that the young leadership they pull it's a we thing it's not an i thing and you're pushing you to go forward so so thank you for breaking us down because i really think that that is that is important so I'm not sure if Matrice, if you want to jump on this or if you want to turn it over to Janessa's, but what does leadership links mean when they say crossing generations? What does that mean? Sure, I can jump in on that one. We're representing with both of our shirts. So she's wearing the core values on her shirt and I'm wearing our mentoring across generations on my shirt. And what we um, are talking about mentoring across generations, you said it in your opening um, statistics, Ellison, tonight, uh, how we can just really learn from one another from generation to generation. So um, I'll just say in leadership links model uh, with the core values, we're talking about things that will last throughout a lifetime. So whenever a person joins our network, our organization, whether you join as a sixth grader, that's the youngest, I think that you can join, or whether you join as a, you know, a person that's had a career over a lifetime and you become part of the network in so many different ways, we all have something to bring to the table. We all have something to share. So we just want to be open to hearing what the voices are sharing, what we're saying to one another. So we are mentoring across the generations. I love hearing from Ms. Janessa. She teaches me a lot all the time. I am personally her mentor in our Leadership Links organization. And so again, it's just all about being able to share and hear different voices, no matter how old or young or how much experience or how new your experience level is, we're here to uh, be open for that. Okay, Janessa, thank you for that. You have anything to add? Oh, no, I think it was cheap. She summed it up pretty well. Okay. All right, so from generations to generations, and and I heard you say the sixth grade is the youngest. Yes. It's okay. Six to 12th grade. So, six to 12th grade, you can join at that time. Does it go beyond 12th grade? What if I'm college? Can it go beyond? So, yes, right? we are. We are expanding. So this is great. Uh, we are expanding and we are growing. So right now we have our pilot program for the young women uh, started last year, and what that is, this is on um, kind of the age group post uh, college. So as you transition out of your college years. Uh, you know, since it goes, it started with the 12th or ended with the 12th grade at one point. So now we're going into the college years and career uh, time frame. So we had 
I want to say six uh, young leaders, um, female leaders that were a part of our pilot program for the young women's program to go through um, the full year with that. And so again, it continues on through adulthood. So we are expanding and we are adding and we are growing. Okay. All right. That's awesome. So we're, everybody's liking it. So you guys hashtag leadership links, right? Because that's so important. Hashtag leadership links. So Janessa, would you say that leadership links is an experience? Definitely. Yeah, okay. It certainly is. Um, there are so many opportunities that open up just from being a part of leadership links. Um, the things I've done, um, I've attended their summer programs. I'm currently um, in my second year of their mentorship program. Um, there's also other leadership opportunities just within the program. So there's so many things you can do. It definitely is an experience. And I'd say so far is like, it's like a lifetime experience, you know, because we're really connected to each other. And even some of the girls who have gone on, who have graduated and they're doing college things, and, you know, just living life, we're still connected to them. They're still connected to us. And so it's kind of something that you kind of can't let go of or grow out of. It's just it's there with you. Okay. So I, I'm, I'm glad that you said that it, it, it grows with you. You so smart, girl. I'm so, I'm so proud of her. <laughs> I'm so proud of her. So it grows with you because you just think about it in the sixth grade, right? You're kind of learning what you want to, you kind of learning what it is I want to do. You know, I remember growing up, I, I, I wanted to be a nurse and I wanted to do this and I wanted to do that. But without real direction, how do you know what you want to do? But it sounds like Leadership Links, the mentoring program, kind of gives you a direction. Does it help to to cultivate what it is you want to do? Yes, definitely. Um, so my career aspiration is that I want to be a mission specialist astronaut. And one of my mentors whom I met... Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What you want to do again? I would like to be a mission specialist astronaut. Woo! That's my girl. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, well, one I'm of my so mentors good. who I met through Leadership Link, um, Admiral Johnson, he is a retired am admiral from the Navy and he was also um, a naval pilot. And so he's been helping me in my journey and finding out, you know, more about aerospace engineering and flight and really helping me get there, telling me things I need to know. And um, also Ms. Patrice, because she's also from the Navy branch, I want to go Navy. Um, attending the Naval Academy. So she's been helping me out, kind of getting through that process and telling me things I need to know and just getting me through. So they've both been like really instrumental in helping me achieve my dream and cultivating, you know, who I am and what I want to be. Hey, Matt, Matrice, you said, right? You said, I also mentor Ms. Janessa's. How are you feeling right now, girl? How are you feeling? My heart is just so elated. Um, I think about so many things when it relates to leadership links because I have been a part of it for so long. I am able to see fruits of it. So if I could just give the analogy of the springtime, I feel like right now there is a springtime um, feeling to leadership links because there was so many years of sewing, even before the first young person came into the program, there were years of preparation uh, for the Leadership Links organization. So now I'm actually witnessing the fruit of the labor that was um, the years past. And one of the things that I see with Miss Genesis right now is her growth from uh, when I first met her in middle school and hearing how she has matured to be able to say confidently and assuredly what she would like to do. And I am confident that with the network those things can actually come to pass because I know we have done a, a great job at finding so many different people to come and be part of our organization. So you'll hear us talk about the young women, but our network um, includes men as well. So uh, Admiral Johnson, who was one of the founding members of Leadership Links, uh, has been a pivotal part of the Leadership Links program in exposing the young people to STEM and the STEM uh, track. 
and preparing them, not just exposing them, but giving them the tools and the information as well as the education. And again, we might talk about it a little bit later, but you mentioned about the experience. Uh, they go on a leadership experience tour. So again, that's a part of the exposure to seeing what you can be when you do grow up. Yes. So I have a quick question because there was a comment and I want to I want to address it because I'm so over here yelling about how proud, proud, proud I am of her. Um, the question asked about um, or a question stated they never heard of a, a mission astronaut. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? Yes. So okay. a mission specialist astronaut is basically the astronauts who do the spacewalks, kind of hands on stuff. So you know how Neil Armstrong was the first man on the moon. He was a mission specialist astronaut. Mm. And so they're the kind of people who, you know, they do repairs on the ships. They collect data, you know, by doing spacewalks and things. And so I want to be that person who gets to go outside, who <laughs> walk on the ship or walk outside the ship. <sighs> Okay, y'all. So I know Janessa since Janessa was, oh my gosh, a little, 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 little bitty thing. And Janessa and I, in young, her younger years, have spent much time together doing things together. Um, so I am over here feeling like a, a proud mama right now. So I, I just, I just really am so proud of you and the young lady that you are growing into and the woman that I know that you are going to be. So that's why I'm cheesing so hard, okay? All right, so, Vanessa, you are on the board, am I not correct, the Young Youth Board? Okay, so that's our Youth Leadership Youth Committee. Youth Leadership Committee, okay. And so our Youth Leadership Committee is kind of like, it's like a student council um, within Leadership Links. We serve to um, provide kind of um, input and insight um, between the Young Youth Links leaders and you know the um, actual board members, the adults. And so what we do, we do like events, we do youth-led events, we do fundraisers to engage the girls in the program, but also to get feedback from them. You know, what do they want to see more of? What do they like? Um, what do they think they're missing? And our job as the YLC is to not necessarily provide that for them, but to inform the, um, the board members and, you know, the adult links leaders um, who actually have the power to provide these things of, you know, what we need and what we like to see. Oh, that's that pulling. That's that pulling. Mm -hmm. That's that pulling. So, Matrice, I heard you say um, the sixth grade is the youngest they can they can sign up, right? Can we sign up at any time and, you know, um, across generations? What if I had grandchildren? Can I sign them up if the parent, you know, is not doing it? Like, tell us more. And what's that website? <laughs> sure. So I, again, am thinking about all the different ways that people can uh, link up. We like to use that term, hashtag link up. So we like to link hashtag up. Hashtag link up. Hashtag link up. Uh, we like to use that term because it really is um, a link. You become a link in the chain. And so when we are talking about um, generations, we're talking about generations to generations. Um, one of the reasons right now we're starting at sixth grade is just basically um, based on the academic portion and the maturity level of the youth at that particular time and what, what Leadership Links is exposing them to at that age. And so, again, we're expanding, we're expanding up right now. We're expanding to young ladies, but, you know, maybe in the future it will expand, you know, to reach out to the elementary age. If you are a person who is connected, I'm not even going to, you know, put a, you know, a title on it. If you are connected to a young person, a young lady in any kind of way, Leadership Links is definitely the place you want to place them. Um, we are now, thankfully, uh, to the um, to the internet and Zoom, we're <laughs> able to connect, where at one point we were only able to connect physically. Uh, we do have a group that meets physically in North Carolina in the High Point area. Mm -hmm. uh, we are looking to expand to the Northern Virginia area for um, in-person mentoring uh, leadership programs. But right now, the um, mentoring program can be, um, they can participate throughout the year virtually. So we do have the virtual component. Um, and again, talking about sixth through 12th grade, the mentoring 
program. The, the website has all the information, so I don't want to miss anything or leave anything out. But I do mm -hmm. want to mention that on the side of adults and how we link up with adults, think about your career and what you have to share and how you would want to share your skills and your abilities and your gifts and your talents. It could be in any capacity. It doesn't have to yeah. be the full year. It could be that you connect with us and um, share what you have through volunteering for any one of the programs that we have. Sometimes we have special guests just on one night come. We can invite Miss Ellison to come and speak on behalf of being a first lady, of being an author, of being a fill in the blank, all the wonderful things that you are. And you can come and speak to our networks. So there are a lot of ways. We could kind of flip the script and have you come. And yes. Have <laughs> so yes. that's a little bit of what Leadership Links has to offer. And again, we're talking about generations to generations. We're talking about bringing in, in the grandparents, bringing in um, oh, the, the church, bringing in whoever it is that fits the person who wants to pour into the next generation. That's good. That's good. That was that was great information because that was what I was going to ask next. Is it across the country and is it virtually? So like I was saying, we have many programs. Um, the one that we're focusing on the most, though, is our mentoring program, which is both virtual and in person. And so for the in-person programs, it's mostly based in North Carolina, I think in the Durham era right now. Okay. Um, but we do have some girls like myself who attend virtually because I live in Virginia, so I can't travel to North Carolina every time. So I tune in virtually. We have a few girls who are in Texas. Um, we've had other girls that have come um, to in-person programs who have traveled from like Florida and other states. So it's definitely a national thing. We're expanding, um, and we hope to grow even more in the future. Okay. All right. So I know we have some North Carolina folks on here and Hey, get your, get your grandkids, your kids, get them, get them signed up on leadership links, inc.org. I think somebody was putting it in, in the comments. So get your kids, get them signed up. This sounds like a great program. So you were meeting in person, went virtually. It sounds like you would in the program during the pandemic. So, do you feel like there was any challenges with the pandemic and switching up from virtually to, you know, post pandemic, pre pandemic? Was there any challenges? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, the pandemic was a challenge for everybody. Mm. Um, so it was no different for us. Um, like I said, I started my journey back in 2018. Um, in the yeah, summer of 2018, I was in seventh grade, and that's when I attended my first summer program um, with Leadership Links. It was a walk and purpose summer program. And so that, of course, was in person. So I traveled to North Carolina and, you know, I loved it. It was only a week long, but I knew this was something I definitely wanted to keep doing. And so I came back the following summer and um, that was for the summer of 2019 and then summer of 2020. So, <laughs> so <laughs> kind of had to shut it down. Um, and so the summer program has been on hold right now, but we didn't stop. We um, kind of started up the mentorship program, which basically they've been doing that along with the summer program. But it's been during like a different time period. And that also was an in-person thing. But because of COVID, they were like, look, we don't want to stop both the summer program and mentoring. So mm -hmm. they transferred mentoring to be a virtual program. And so that's how I ended up being able to attend my very first mentoring program in 2021, 2022. That's good. That's good. I want I want to address that based on what what you just saying. Sandra Sandra has said she had a comment up there. If we can just put Sandra's up there, she said, "I love how she calls it her journey," and I I I, I heard that several times. So with that being your journey, what did you learn about yourself during this whole pandemic experience? Right. And as far as what you learned from leadership links, of course, parents, school, different things, mentors. What did you learn about yourself during the, the pandemic process of your journey? Um, you know, I learned basically I learned a lot, really. Um, number one being the importance of people, having people around you, a support system. Um, isolation was a really big issue during the um, pandemic. We're all in quarantine, so we're all like kind of bored around the house. But leadership links. Um, we just kind of we huddled around each other, even though we weren't there to physically huddle around each other. We were there. I remember being on calls where we call each other and we check in and we do mm -hmm. calls and we talk. And so, you know, Lucia Links was really there for me when I needed a community of people to kind of fall back on when I was by myself. Wow, that's good. 
that's good she said when we needed a community of people they were there and so many people were feeling isolated during that time so it's not only matrice and i hear you talk about the parents too it's not only a community for our youth but for the parents as well correct absolutely absolutely we are um our support system together um, as parents. And one of the things that I want to just slide back to just for a second, um, we're trying to really help people to understand the, the mission and the purpose of Leadership Links. And when I say that, it's so much more than when we use the word program. And I think we just don't have another word to replace it. But Leadership Links really does become a lifestyle. When I heard Ms. Janessa talking about the, the years, <laughs> it seemed like forever, of the pandemic, I remember when she's talking about the people reached out, it wasn't the mentors. Yes, we did, but the Lynx leaders themselves reached out to each other. They were their own support system because they had built that relationship through Leadership Links. And that is really what Leadership Links is doing. It's building a relationship with people that will last a lifetime. And if I can just kind of tee up for Miss Janessa's and her relationship with my daughter to just show the connection. So um, my daughter graduated in 2021 um, from high school and she was a part of the Leadership Links organization since she was in sixth grade. And Miss Janessa's, if you can just share a little bit about your relationship with Nyla and how you two linked up. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I believe I met Miss Nyla at that first summer bro program also. And so that kind of was the beginning of our peer mentorship relationship. Um, we didn't really get close until I think um, when we first both served on the um, Youth Leadership Committee that very first year. So it was the year of, yeah, it was 2021, 2022. That was when they first started um, the Youth Leadership Committee. And so she served as president and I served as vice president. And so because we were in those two roles, we got to work very closely together, um, you know, rely on each other to get things done and accomplish what we need to do. And during that, you know, I just really got to see Miss Nyla work. I mean, she was so such an inspiration to me. And because we have like goals that um, align the same, she wants to be a pilot. I want to learn how to fly. She wants to go to the Naval Academy. She's at the Naval Academy. Actually, I want to be at the Naval Academy. So I was just able to learn so much from her. And um, yeah, it was just a really great relationship that we had. That's good. That's good. It's all about building relationships because not only are these relationships important right now, that's that pulling. Hashtag pulling. We, we got to get that. Hashtag it's the, it, pulling because that's what you guys are doing. Y'all are, are pulling. Y'all are rallying together. And you guys are not talking about someone, not talking about you know stuff that's not going to get you anywhere but you guys are actually talking about a purpose goals and what you want to do in life and that is so important so i know when i was doing my research with leadership links there were several young ladies um who already had businesses listen to listen 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 y'all give me one second because i'm about to talk to the older folks and Listen, all the folks out there, right? One of them was in the eighth grade and already had her own business. And we still saying, well, I'm going to. We got to get it together. So talk to me about that because I think that is so important that several of these youth already have their own business. Um, so yeah, some of them, they come into Leadership Links with their own business and some of them get inspired um, by Leadership Links to start their own business. And um, you know, again, Leadership Links is just there to help them grow and succeed in things. And so I've met some of those girls who have started their own businesses and they're awesome people. I mean, they're definitely the entrepreneur type. And so Leadership Links has really just helped that to grow and foster them so they can be even better leaders. And I've seen them grow and change um, also. Yeah. Wow, that I, I really felt like that was amazing when I when I read that. So um, Leadership Links also has a newsletter. And tell me tell me a little bit more about how maybe I don't have a child in Leadership Links, but how can I be a part? How can I is there a donation? 
what is it I can what I, I can do? And Matrice, I'm going to go to you first. And Janessa, if you want to piggyback. Yes, ma'am. Again, on Leadership Link's uh, website, I believe that there um, is a part where you actually can um, click the link and then you'll see all the volunteer opportunities. You can also uh, send an email to the Leadership Link's um, email address, just expressing an interest in what you would, how you would like to be involved. We have so many different ways of being involved. Um, we have opportunities for people to utilize what they have in their own business. Perhaps you have a business where um, leadership links can come and expose the, the youth leaders to your business or your organization. One of the things that is so why it's so successful is we're not telling them what they can be really when they grow up. It's what can you be? What is your purpose now today? And we're helping them see how they can live their purpose out today. There are people, there are our young leaders who are authors. They already have written their book and they're inspiring me because I'm trying to get mm. them writing a book and building a business <laughs> and having a nonprofit. I am getting mentored by this generation of young people literally as I sit here today. So again, there are a lot of different ways. You may have some information on how to get connected in a different area so that you can build a network in your state. So we are looking to grow and expand, but if we don't have mentors in your state, that's one big thing that I, I would do the shameless plug right here. Mentors, we have a mentor training program that happens during the summer. So like myself, I'm a ambassador, parent ambassador, but also a mentor, which means that I actually will spend the Saturday with um, our Lynx leaders in mentoring them. And I went through the program to get trained as a Lynx mentor. So we do need mentors. Um, now, again, I live in Maryland now and I was in Virginia because we were still in the military and we we're still moving around. So I was able to participate with the Links mentor program because of the virtual capacity of leadership links. And so if you're interested in being a mentor, that's one big need that we have because we want to grow um, and we can only take so many uh, youth based off of our mentors. So the mentors have to go through the training first and then they become mentors. And then we break them into whether they're in the um, middle school group or the high school group. And so we, I will put a call out. Um, we do we actually do a call out for mentors. Uh, so mentorship is a big one because that's what our organization is founded on, mentoring. And so again, if you don't have the capacity in your day and your time and your weeks and your months, it may be something that's a, a one-off situation, but we're always looking for people to use their gifts, their talents and their skills to be part of our organization. Some people um, find out about us and they, based off of their experience, become part of the advisory board. Um, we, have, we have a need for business leaders and attorneys. So we're a nonprofit. So we have a need for a lot of different things. And then at the end of the day, we don't do this without any resources. So if there's anyone that wants to share this and would like to make a donation, those donations are always welcome as well. Thank you. So the question Sandra had was, um, how are your mentors vetted? So I don't know if you know, or Matrice, if you want to yes. talk about um, that. On the website, there's an application, and so they would complete the application, and that would start the process. Yes. Okay. So go on the website and get the application. Okay. You know what? We're talking about mentors. Do you think you would come back and mentor? Oh, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really love leadership links and um, growing with the girls. And like I said, the whole peer mentoring relationship, I've learned from them, they learn from me. So definitely like, you know, when I'm older, I'd love to come back and um, mentor the younger generation. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I think that was really important because again, you, we have to give back. You know, we have to give back. And we're a part of this community. If this community has helped you so much, how, how are we giving back? And Janessa, if I'm not mistaken, didn't you just win an award for? <laughs> didn't you just win win an award for a poem that you? I did. Okay. Um, so that is actually part of another extracurricular um, that I do. This actually relates to school. I'm part of my beta club, and so mm -hmm. we recently had beta convention um, back in February, and so um, I competed in the poetry competition, Division Two. 
And um, it was like a little thing, you know, I had to type up uh, a poem. I only had an hour. Oh, ma'am. And you, no, ma'am. Mm-mm. No, I'm ma'am. Stop right wait, there. No, wait, ma'am. Wait, no, ma'am. Wait. No. Oh, it wasn't just a little thing. Little thing. Okay? <laughs> it wasn't just a little thing. It wasn't just a little thing. So, no, so we're going to backtrack that just a little bit. Okay, this so, 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 so go ahead. Okay, so it, it wasn't a little thing. It, it, it didn't turn out that way. It definitely did. Um, but yeah, I had a prompt and um, there was no pre written material, so I was all on my own, straight off the dome. So I started writing. And um, I started, and I had a little trip up, and I kind of scared myself and I got nervous. And when I finished, I didn't think it was good. I really didn't. I was telling my friends, and I was like, I don't, I don't think I was gonna win anything. It didn't seem like it was all that. And so that was the virtual part of it. So the in-person part of the convention was actually where everybody received the awards. So you know, I went to go see if I had won, you know, because I was curious, and also to support my friends who were also competing that day. And so I'm sitting there and I'm walking around, hanging with my friend. And so the beta sponsor says, the results have been posted. Check if you want anything. And so I'm sitting with my friend and she's like, okay, I'm gonna check. I'm like, okay, cool. And so she checks, she's like, oh man, I wasn't there. I'm like, oh no, don't feel bad. I probably didn't make it either. And I was like, would you mind checking for me? And so she goes and she checks. And she's like, oh my gosh, Genesis, you're up there. And I'm like, stop playing, stop playing, it's not funny. <laughs> she's like, no, Genesis, I'm so serious. You're up there. And she shows me her phone and she turns it around and there I am in first place. I'm like, yes! no way. <laughs> I was like, no way. And I was like, wait, is it like alphabetical order? Because my name is like, <laughs> goes to the S on the, maybe it's like alphabetical order. So maybe I got like nerd or something. And so I found out like actual confirmation when I got up there and they handed me my plaque. I was like, wow, this is Woo. really well. First place. <laughs> First place. Yeah. Hashtag big things. Yes, yes, yes. A very humble young lady. Yes, very humble. Very smart, very educated, very intelligent. I don't even know all the words. Very, very, very sweet. She's very, very sweet. So that is that was such a big thing, right? And so the the whole process of of her joining this. Did y'all hear what she said? There was no kind of impromptu nothing. I came straight off the dome. Okay, old folks, straight out, straight out ahead. <laughs> straight off the top and got first place so god be the glory god is all over this young lady you hear me and i know her parents and then she got some praying parents so god is all over her but she got a work to do too and she doing a thing doing a thing y'all heard that right doing a thing so anyway so yes that was good and congratulations again Mr. Nessus, for for all of that so i want to discuss um what do you want to tell us about about the journey of leadership? What you got? Got um, a lot of stuff. Okay, um, go ahead, girl. <laughs> so, so it all started, but like I said, back in the summer of 2018. That's when it happened. Um, I was in seventh grade, and um, my mom is a founding director, and so she took me. She had been part of it, so I knew about leadership links before I joined. I kind of watched it from. The beginning i was like hey, mom, what you working on she's like oh you know these should links to your program you know it didn't mean much to me at first until i actually went and so when i first went i first got there i was like oh, no, i don't know i like this you know <laughs> my mom didn't teach me about it and it's you know <laughs> but <laughs> i got there and it turned out it was really great yeah. i really loved it you know and the thing that really stuck out to me and still sticks out to me is the whole community feel you know mm-hmm. our um core value the in and links networking and that's Seriously, it's the like number one thing, networking. We love, love, love networking. And we push it in everything that we do. Mm. We're like a sisterhood, we're a family, we stick together. And that's what I really enjoyed about the summer program, is that we did everything together, you know? Besides the actual learning part of the summer program, we did, we sung, we ate together, we did like, you know, activities. So, you know, we do, little experience, experiments um, that would be kind of headed by the mentors that were there. Mm-hmm. So it was just a great thing, just doing everything together. Even with mentoring, we still do that together, even though we're a tad bit separated and still uniform feel. Um, that, like, we um, were talking about the leadership experience before we did that together. Um, so yeah, it's just really community oriented. And so that's what I really love about it. It, it sounds like it builds unity. Sounds like it's building unity, lasting, lasting, real relationships, right? 
So really quickly, girl, you so funny. You're welcome. She said, thank you for explaining the dome. So, <laughs> so you're welcome. So from each of you guys' perspective, right? What, how do you think leadership links can benefit young ladies? So from your perspective as a parent mentor and then from your perspective as in going through it. Patrice. Yes, I was just thinking about um, how broad this is. This is an organization that um, is a global organization. I mean, the people that we're connected to are not just here in America. Um, mm. Sometimes we start thinking that way because we're talking about North Carolina and Virginia, but we really are a global organization already today. And, and our thought process and our leadership and the, and the people that we are connected to and, and how we are bringing all of these um, individuals together. And so we're just doing so much to be able to expose our generation, our today's generation for their leadership um, opportunities at a later time in their life, but exposing them to the world globally. So it really is an inspiration for me as a parent, as a mentor, as an ambassador. Um, I have nieces in our organization. My oldest daughter was um, one of the guest speakers um, and talking about her profession. So this is uh, really a lifestyle for our Williamson family. We have uh, been a part of the Leadership Links Network um, and I don't see it as anything that ends. I just see it as something that continues on throughout the rest of our family and the rest of my time here on earth. Mm -hmm. That's good. And, you know, thank you for giving that um, about globally, because I did read where um, there was there was some work in, I believe, Nigeria. There was some work in Nigeria to help with different kind of spiritual formations and leadership jet there and also in different parts of like West Africa. And I've seen that. And that is so important because, again, you guys are going globally, which is important because our youth are our future. They are our future leaders and we have to sow into them. Right. And we have to cultivate their interests so that they can continue and know that they are supported. And it does take a bit hashtag. It does take a village because it does. It does take a village. So, Genesis, from your perspective. Next question. Yeah, oh, OK. Question. So, <laughs> so how can young ladies benefit from leadership links? Yeah. Um, so from, from my perspective, um, it's definitely an all-around benefit. Um, you meet so many people, so many of my mentors have come from Leadership Links, and they come from all walks of life. Um, you know, they might not be directly in something that you're interested in, but they can definitely help you get to where, wherever you want to be. Um, they'll teach you things, you know, as far as, um, you know, my public speaking skills, that's another thing. They teach us at Leadership Links, public speaking. I definitely wouldn't be able to do this without the training I received at um, Leadership Links. And so it's just things like that. And, you know, it may seem little to you or uninteresting to you at the time, but I guarantee you it will help you later in life. Yeah. And, you know, I, I'm a witness to that because I remember your kicking and screaming. <laughs> I remember your kicking and screaming at first, and it was like, oh, because my mom, da 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 da. But, not, but, just, but just look at you. Right. And so I'm going to put you on the spot here on, on TV. Right. What would you say to your mom about taking you to leadership links? Honestly, I say thank you. I'd say a very big thank you. You know, mm -hmm. um, with my mom, like I said, she's the founding director. So I still get some of those values at home because she's my mother. But, you know, just having these links to build on that has really reinforced it. And they've been able to tell me things and teach me things. Or some things, you know, I'm not going to say my mom can't teach me. But, you know, I'd probably be more inclined to listen to it mm -hmm. because it's not coming from my mother. Mm -hmm. I like the way you said that because we, we as parents, it's, you know, we want you guys to listen to us. But we have to understand that sometimes you will receive it from someone else and you will you know, us. And I think that's important because as long as the village is a village that has the same morals and values that we have, 
that we're instilling, then as a parent, we don't mind that, you know, because we know that we're still there. And that's what we as parents, grandparents, mentors, whatever, we need to develop a safety net for you guys so that you can have have the space to, to grow into what you want to do and help you and act as a GPS on your journey. That's what we're here to is to act as a GPS on on your journey and help you get through with that. Oh, Miss Janessa, that's so right, my girl. <laughs> so listen, you've been watching Real Talk with Ellison. I am here with Miss Janessa Bonardi and Miss Patrice Williamson. And we have been talking about the organization, Leadership Link is Incorporated. And listen, they go on global because I also read, I think, what was it, uh, maybe a couple of years ago, that Canada, if I'm not mistaken, right? Went into Canada? Well, it there was COVID, so that was the year that they were supposed to go during that summer and everything. Oh, we don't claim it. It's coming. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, we were not able to make it to uh, our global, global leadership tour. Um, so... This, the last two have leadership education tours have been um, in the United States. And so they are gearing up to put everything back together so that they could actually uh, go on the, I'm not sure if they're gonna still do the same tour to Canada, Mm -hmm. um, but I know that they are in the works and planning now. And again, you asked earlier, so many different ways to be part of our network And um, if there's anything that you know about um, travel and and getting access to different resources so that we can take these uh, young leaders on this experience. I mean, again, we wanna be able to open up the network wider so that we're able to do more. And the more that we're able to do, the more we can bring into our network so that others can participate and be a part of it as well. And and one more thing that I'll just add because I've been a part of it, I want to share this really important part. Um, If you're thinking about having, um, inviting someone to be part of it as one of the participants, one of the youth, Uh, I really just want to encourage um, anyone that's thinking about it. It is not a summer program that we know traditionally, and those are great, and there are a lot of them out there. Leadership Links is really more of a lifestyle. So once you're a part of Leadership Links, you stay part of it. There are times where life gets busy. Our girls are involved in so many things from academics to sports and extracurricular. So we know that time management is very important. But we also know that what they're learning, these are lifestyle skills, life lessons that they get from Leadership Links. So we want to encourage our parents, the ambassadors, the youth to look at Leadership Links when you become a part of the network as part of your family, as part of who you are. And it's not something that you put a check in the box and say, okay, I learned everything that I needed to know and I'm moving on. You never really stop learning. So if you look at it as a learning opportunity, then it's for a lifetime. Okay, I I like that you said that. So hashtag lifetime, speak to that. It's a lifetime. Yeah, um, so like Ms. Patrice said, they're teaching us life skills. And so these are things we can apply um, to our life right now and later. Um, Like I mentioned, public speaking, that's something you need to know. Like from the jump job applications, business positions, you need to know these things. I've seen it for myself. You know, I do presentations in school and I've had my peers ask me, Janessa, have you taken classes? How are you so good at public speaking? And I'm like, it's, I've been taught leadership links. I've, they taught me how to do it. Um, it's, it doesn't seem, you know, really as bad once you really get used to it because they actually have us do exercises where we practice like introducing ourselves to people we don't know. Um, when we go on trips, I remember the let this past year, we had basically a networking event and we went around and we introduced ourselves to different people. We talked and we told each other about ourselves. And you know, those experiences, they really help you build you up to be a better person. And you learn those skills and they get instilled in you. So it just really becomes like second nature. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like you said, lifestyle for a lifetime, right? It's something that is, this is an experience you will never forget. and. You plan on having children in your thirties? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, if you plan on having children, you can definitely see how this can go from generations to generations to generations. And even if you don't, 
when you mentor, you have more than enough anyway. That's not, you know, something that you choose to do. And just because if you don't want to have your natural doesn't mean you can't get school kids involved, neighborhood kids involved, church children involved. You can, you know, just help build the community more because this this program is not a summer program as you know it, Matrice said. And I like that you said that because it now becomes a part of who you are. Right? So that's really, really, really good. Genesis. What, how does your lifestyle line up with the core values of leadership? And repeat those core values for us and then tell us how it lines up. Okay, yes. <laughs> so our core values are actually in the name. So leadership links, the link stands for love, inspiration, network, knowledge, and service. And so um, I've been trying to apply those throughout my life. You know, ever since I joined leadership links, you know, the love part, obviously, you know, try and love. Love all, really, you know, don't hold prejudices against people. I try and be open minded um, when I'm meeting new people. So, you know, start everything with love. Um, that's actually one of our themes for a summer program a couple of years ago was lead with love. So, that's something I've learned. Um, inspiration, you know, I've been inspired by so many people in Leadership Links. And I try to be an inspiration to others, you know, I'm not going out there, you know, trying to be all willy nilly for attention, but I just want people to see my actions, what I can do, and they be inspired. Yeah. Um, networking, of course, like I've talked about, you know, talking to people, talking here with Miss Ellison is networking, you know, at its finest and talking with her on her podcast. And so this is just an experience to network, open my network. Um, knowledge, um, that's something we get every time at Mr. Links. You know, they're constantly imparting knowledge to us. So it's not just like school where you learn things, where you learn um, life skills, like we said. Um, and you just you just gain a bunch of knowledge um, about stuff you may not have thought about or think haven't seen in a different way. Um, these should links are very eye opening. It's kind of what the mentors are there for to help kind of see beyond what we ourselves, the youth, um, can see. Kind of open our eyes a little bit. And then of course service. You know, um, me personally, I've always loved to help people, and so these should links definitely does um, offer opportunities for like service. We do fundraising events. Um, we do community events and so uh, through leadership links i kind of grown my love for serving people also that don't cry don't cry <laughs> i am just listen just say go genesis in the chat just say go genesis y'all can't spell a name put a j in there just go j go genesis because listening to what she said, my God, and we as adults can take on that, right? Go, Janessa, go. <laughs> so, Matrice, what would you, and I'm, I want you to answer this too from, from a youth perspective. What do you want the, the adults to take away from leadership links? What do you want us today to learn about leadership links? I would say that the opportunities to be part of Leadership Links are endless. My mind is just going in so many different directions as it pertains to what people can do with Leadership Links and how you can support and be part of Leadership Links that I would love to, and I want to encourage everyone to visit the website, follow us on Instagram, follow us throughout the other social media platforms because there's so much going on. Always there's something new that's taking place. Um, the organization itself is just such a great part of a community of people, of individuals that it's hard to almost um, describe what it is because it's it's limitless i'm just thinking about the people that i know that the people board members i know there's a board member um for leadership links who does who has a daughter but she's not old enough to participate just yet to kind of talk about you know to speak on you know what you were saying about like the next generation so we're talking about people who may not be a part of it right now today and may not even be born yet but we'll still have this organization because of the people who are here today. And for those that are there, um, out there listening right now, again, go to the website, find out as much as you can, ask questions, ask good questions. I'm learning that through um, 
an organization that I'm working with, asking clarifying questions, making sure that you get the answers that you feel are, are going to give you more knowledge. So we want to exercise all parts of links. And a big part of it is the knowledge. So if you're out there and you're an adult, get the knowledge about what Leadership Links is and what we're doing. Okay. All right. Thank you, Pam. What do you want us to take away? Oh, um, well, you know, as a youth, that's something that um, you say y'all older folks <laughs> um, constantly throw in our faces that we're the leaders of tomorrow. And, um, you know, we're the future and things. And so I feel like Leadership Links is where we can really showcase that, you know, we can show that we're capable of being the leaders of tomorrow, not just the leaders of tomorrow, but the leaders of today. Mm. Um, Go ahead, that, <laughs> we can do it now. We don't have to wait till we're older and we're the manager of something. We can do it now. Like you said, the girls who are starting their own businesses. I mean, it's great. That's that's young. And so they're already showing their leadership, their leadership skills. And so Leadership Links is really helping us cultivate that. So, Janessa said, don't be telling me I'm the leader of tomorrow or the future. I am the leader today. Boom, mic drop. That's what she said. Anyway, I'm just helping her out a little bit. Y'all know I'm animated. <laughs> so listen, we get ready to wrap up. You've been watching Dad, Sandra, leaders of today. You've been watching Real Talk with Ellison. We have been talking with Patrice Williamson and Janessa Spanabi of Leadership Links. And they have been dropping some good information on here today. So, ladies, a nugget. Give us, give us a nugget about Leadership Links. Give us a nugget about how it's helped you, even from a mentor or a parent ambassador. Give us a nugget, Patrice, you first. So I'm going to take another nugget from Leadership Links. I'm going to take inspiration. I'm going to take the I. Um, I am inspired every day by anyone that I meet that is connected with Leadership Links to include you, Miss Ellison, because I found out about you through the network of Miss Genesis's mom. So that network is constantly um, working and I am inspired by you and I'm inspired by others who are a part of our organization. Amen, thank you so much, thank you so much. Yeah, when we got the talk, I was like, wait, what? We could be kindred sisters. <laughs> Mr. Ness is a nugget. Um, you know, I just say Leadership Links is great all around. You know, I've definitely seen the changes in my life and I'd want someone else to experience what I've experienced, you know, if I could just take it and pass it on, I'd be like, here, this is what I've learned. You can have it. Go chase your dreams with it because that's what I feel like Leadership Links has enabled me to do is that um, I've been equipped with people who can help me get where I want to be. And so I'm really grateful to them for that. And so if anyone who's out there, you know, kind of looking for a push, I guess, um, Leadership Links is definitely where you can find that. Woo! She said, she said just, hashtag go chase your dreams. Let, let the hashtag, hashtag chase your dream. dream. So listen, Janessa, how old are you? 16. She's 16. By 20, she's gonna catch up to it. So we yeah, I, I think she's gonna pass me because I don't think I'm gonna be an astronaut. I, some things are too late for I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that's probably one of them. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. It has been a pleasure to, to to chat with both of you ladies. I appreciate your time because I know your time is fresh. Janessa's, I know your time, child. Janessa's got so much going on. I, you know, I had to rank with her and be like, Janessa's, what, what's your schedule? <laughs> so I appreciate the time that you both have, have shared here today and the information that you provided us for leadership links. Listen, the, the website is scrolling across the screen. The website, I have seen it several times get put in the chat. Sign up for some mentorship. Tell your church, young ladies, tell the neighborhood, get involved however you can because it does take a village, right? So Matrice, thank you again so much. And I'm sure we'll be talking. Hold on, don't go nowhere. Stay there. We're gonna put you behind scenes. Janessa, you sit right there in that seat. We're gonna chat. 
So again, thank you guys for watching Real Talk with Ellison. We have talking about, well, Ms. Janessa is enlightening me. We're not talking about the leaderships of the future. We're talking about the leaders of today. So thank you so much for watching Real Talk with Ellison. Stay tuned for next week where we're going to talk about, oh, Jesus, how we can be healthy, more healthy. We're going to talk about menopause. Come on now. Well, I get hot flashes. We're going to talk about some natural ways to enlighten. The lady's going to enlighten us with some natural ways how to become more healthy, how to get your blood pressure down, how to fight menopause, diabetes, you name it. It's for men and for women both. So tune in next week at 7 p.m. on Real Talk with Ellison. And again, thank you so much for watching. God bless. Mwah.